Good morning, church. My name is Sarah Clark. Hey, if you know me, extra hey, if you don't know me, I am always in need of friends. So apply soon. <laughs> I would love to share with you your devotions this morning. And I'm actually going to be taking it from Psalm 46 verses 1 to 3. So I'm going to read from my She Reads Truth Bible. God is our refuge and strength, a helper who is always found in times of trouble. Therefore, we will not be afraid, though the earth trembles and the mountains topple into the depths of the seas, though its waters roar and foams and the mountains quake with its turmoil. So this verse has served me so well over the last seven years. I've now been seven years in business as a gym owner and it has been a rough ride, just to say the least. I had this dream from God, and I do believe it was a God thing, that of having um, a gym that is the center of the community that serves people with knowledge and freedom, physical freedom. And, um, and I thought, yep, Jesus, he's put me on this path. He knows that I can do it with him and it's going to be great and so I applied to open a gym and it got rejected and then I applied to change the use of the unit and it got rejected and you know what seven years this has happened time and time again and every single time let's be real every single time I've gone god this was your idea why are you doing this? Like, why is it not easy? And so each time I've had to really turn back to scripture and every single time I've had like almost a new wave of fear that overcomes me and thinks, well, what's the next thing going to be? Or how the heck am I going to get through this? And then um, there was one particular instance that was really hardcore and I just didn't know how I was going to get through it. And it was actually through some amazing people through church that I did get through it. But at that time, I was like, I am literally out of my power now. And so I did turn to God. And this verse was the thing that just took me through it. Because the fact that he says, therefore, we will not be afraid, though the earth trembles. What I wrote down on my board was a, um, a translation that said, therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way. So we're basically being told that the earth is going to give way, right? That's that's biblical. <laughs> like, that's epic proportions of fear-inducing panic that Jesus is telling me right there through um, King David. But though the earth gives way, we will not fear because he is there. He reigns. He is watching over us. He will come back for you. He will leave the 99 for you. There is something that is going to come out of the earth giving way in this moment so there is no need to fear and the one thing the practical thing that's helped me every single time I've gone into a situation where I feel fearful especially in business but really in everything in life if you're focusing on the fear you're not focusing on the light okay and so if you literally imagine you're walking down a dark tunnel and you're like I can't see a thing. I have no idea what's in here. What's going on? And that there is a glimmer of light at the end there. You are going to focus on that light. And every single time you find yourself focusing on darkness, you know you're going the wrong way. And so you're going to turn and you're going to focus on the light. And so I have to remember this every single time. The earth gives way beneath me. Not literally, but figuratively, it feels like sometimes. I have to realize I'm focusing on the dark and I'm not looking to the light. And I have to physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually shift the direction of my focus from darkness to light, darkness to light. There is fear, but I will not, I need not fear because I can see the light. And if I just keep stepping one step in front of the other towards God, I've got enough instructions plenty of instructions to get me from A to Z but every single time my humanness wants me to focus on the fear I'm going to decide 
hell no, not today. I'm going to focus on the light. I'm going to read the word that matters and not listen to the words that are coming in from the world. And I'm going to declare it. And I, every time this type of thing happens to me, I write these on post-it notes and I put it on every single, yeah, let's just say I put it on my bills. I put it on my fridge. I put it on um, letters that come from the council. I put it on, I just declare it physically, verbally, whatever. Okay, you have got an incredible tool here to take on fear, but also know that if you do fear, that is not because you are weak, that is not because you are, there's no shame in fear, you know, every time and time again in the Bible, it tells us that we will feel fear, but we need not to fear because ultimately it is all in somebody's hand and I just want to say thank goodness it's not in my hand. And I'm so grateful to God for God. And I'm so grateful for God for my church. So I hope that was helpful for you today. And I hope that you go forward in your day today with confidence and strength, knowing that you've got an almighty hand pushing you forward and telling you, whispering in your ear that you do not need to fear. It's okay if you can feel it, but don't focus on it keep on stepping forward and we've got this there is going to be i was going to say a light at the end of the tunnel but there is going to be a rhyme and a reason for this season so let's go forth and conquer because we are more than conquerors all right have a great day and i love you